Hi guys, I'm here with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a little loop on the back of your GoPro that you can tie a bigger rope to. Now, if you've had a GoPro, you've always probably have had it happen that you wanted to one day tie it onto something so you didn't lose it. Now, for me, this has happened when I've been out sailing. Now, I didn't want my GoPro to fall off because it sinks. I didn't want to put a cushion on the back and took up a lot of room. It was very easy for me just to tie it right on, but the GoPro doesn't have anywhere on it that makes it easy to tie the rope on. So I created a little tiny loop around the back that holds it on. Using, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to need some very small string. This is very strong, very small string. This is about a millimeter thick. This is about as thick as it can be for what we're going to use it for. You can find this at most marine stores. We'll sell something very similar to this. A knife and a lighter. So, let's look at where we're going to mount this. If you look really closely, if you look really closely at the back of our GoPro, we'll notice it's a little gap between the uh, this the screen or the back of the GoPro and then this hinge there. There's a little gap in the screen hinge, right? So, we're going to be tying a little string around that. And to do that, the first thing we're going to want to do is pop open our GoPro, pop the back off, gently just pull down comes right off then we're gonna to want to take our string pass it through the gap around so you can see that we have the string now around this bar which is what we're gonna tie it to the knot the knot's a little tricky I'm gonna show you the knot first using some thicker rope just so it's easier to see the knot's gonna be that we go Place the two pieces of rope, or the two ends, so that they cross over like this. Take the first one, wrap it around the rope, and then cutting back over itself. I'm going to roll around again. Then we're going to pass the end through here. And then we're going to pull it tight. Okay, we're doing the same thing on the other side here. We're going to go around the rope. We're going to come back around itself again. Then we're going to pass through the end through what we've just created and pull both of these tight. And you can see the kind of knot it creates. Now, this knot's very good for this. It's very tight. It doesn't like to come undone. So, that's perfect for what we want. So, now we're going to want to tie that same knot that we just saw how to tie on the little rope. Now, the little rope is too small to actually show up on the video. So, you're just going to have to do exactly what we did before. And then you just pull the, pull the knot tight. And it just, and there you can see the knot now is totally fully locked in and fully formed. And you can also see that the uh, the rope fits between the the back door and that little box or the little the bar. Sorry. So what happens now is when we go to mount the camera or the door back onto the we go to put the door back onto the uh, camera. So we just want to make sure that that rope. Flies, slides right into that little gap in between the, the the two hinges on the back of the camera and then we just pop the door on it just clicks on there and then when we close the door you want to be careful to make sure the rope doesn't get caught and then close the door latch it up and then we can see now that we have this this rope attached to the back and after we trim it so next step now would be to trim the trim the excess off here so we'll just take our knife and just cut the the excess off and then I'll take my lighter and just burn off the excess so it doesn't unravel just like that this is now a very secure tie point to tie to on your camera. You can take a bigger, thicker rope and tie around it. You could clip it onto something if you were, uh, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. But at least now there's a point on your camera that you can tie to securely. And that really, to me, is a big drawback from this camera. There's, there's no point on it to tie to, and now there is. So that is another. that was another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. Thank you for watching. You'll find lots more of these kind of videos on my channel, so please subscribe and visit me there. Thanks for watching.